hey everyone, how many different ways can the letters of each word be arranged? And what we were looking at is distinguishable permutations. So um, let's look at this first one. So basically we're looking at permutations with repetitions. So uh, because they're, they look alike, they have to be distinguishable. So for our first uh, word level, our P, our total, or our number is 5. That's your total number. So using this formula, we have 5 factorial. We also have two L's, so we said P is 2, and Q is 2. So you're going to divide by the number of uh, repetitions, because when you arrange the words, they have to look different. So we're dividing by 2 factorial, divided by 2 factorial, and that's using our formula. So we'll have, uh, this is going to be 5 factorial is 120, and we're dividing this by 2 times 2. This is 2 times 1, 2 times 1. So 120 divided by 4 equals 30. And that's how many different ways the word can be arranged. Now let's look at Texas. So for Texas, we have a total of five letters, one, two, three, four, five, all right? None of the letters repeat. So in this case, all we do is have five factorial, which is 120 ways, in which the letters can be arranged. Remember, permutations always deal when you hear the word arranged, that's a permutation. All right, next, pop. So we have three letters and the two uh, P's. So it's three factorial over two factorial. So this is three times two times one divided by two times one. And that equals three ways the word can be arranged. All right, for parallel, we have, um, let's see where that word 17. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight total letters. And how many P's? Just one. We have two A's um, and three L's. Now, when you write this out, we're going to get, um, the best way to write it out is write it like 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. And then I write this 3 factorial, and we still have 2 factorial. 2 factorial is just 2. And then you cross these out, and you could say 2 goes into 8 4 times, and then you can multiply this out. This is going to be um, 3,360. Also, if you're just using a calculator, make sure when you use the calculator that you put parentheses on the denominator. If you don't, you're going to get this, 8 factorial divided out by 2 factorial times 3 factorial because of PEMDAS. So always, uh, we don't want that. Make sure you put parentheses. Now let's look at Alaska. So for Alaska, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, yeah, six totals are in. We have three A's, one L, one S, and one K. So you want it to probably write this out as six times five times four times three factorial. Divide it by 3 factorial. That crosses out. So basically you have 20 times 6. And that's going to be 120. Ways that word can be arranged. And the last one is free. Four letters. 
and the e's are repeated two so that's four times three times two factorial divided by two factorial which equals 12 ways the word can be arranged and that's it thank you have a nice day bye bye